I'm wondering if I should heal now. And just hope I get access to more healing items as I progress towards the enemy, other enemy base. All I can do at this point is try, is try my best, right? I don't know. It's all, it's all practice. It's all experimentation and figuring out the mechanics. That's how this, that's how these things start off. We are pretty healthy. Maybe I should hold off on using supplies until we're done, unless I got something new. Covers troops skills by one. We haven't used a lot of skills yet. Morale. Maybe I should pump up morale before the fight. I am, uh, let's see, decreases all symbol enemies attack defense and M defense by 50% for 10 turns. But I don't think, I don't think, I don't think a base counts as a symbol enemy. I think those, those guys moving around kind of symbol enemies. Let's use the, the Dragon Ale. We're at morale of 20. There we go. Let's go take him out. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Oh. I guess that's one thing. They have their own dragon mage. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that could be some serious damage. And it's their leader, because of course it is. Uh, let's get out of this menu, go to the other one. You have 100 hit points. Yeah, they, they, they have roughly 150 hit points each. She has like... She's up towards 400. Should I focus fire her? Can I do that? Should I try to clear a path for my own dragon? I should probably just go on the attack, right? I probably can't even attack her. Ah! It's probably not crazy to get started. Maybe we should focus on her. There we go. I tried pausing for a moment. It seemed to work out. Oh. They're not happy I'm here, as you'd expect. That dragon's gonna mess me up on its turn, as you'd expect. Restart that one, that was a weird waste. All right. I should just blow this person away. I'm, how am I doing on health again? We're doing fine now, it's recovered. Here we go. Keep hitting them. They're more alive than I was hoping. <laughs> Here it comes. Ah. Wasn't, I'm a little caught off guard by them having a, a very comparable squad to me as far as uh, co composition goes. So I can't really re I can't really reach the dragon, but I can't really reach anybody from here. I can attack my own character. Sweet. Great idea, right? Otherwise, not much going on here. I could hit that guy with fire. That'd be fun. Or there we go. Oh wow, that was actually still worthwhile. That was strong. But now I'm gonna be in some trouble here. Yeah. That's not good. I really hope she's not actually dead. <laughs> still learning about death mechanics in this game, and I'd like to not have the rude awakening of having one of them die if I can avoid it. Dark Spark. That'd be a health. That'd be a chance to get some health from them. Two birds with one stone. Let me heal while dealing damage to their leader. Not enough, though. Oh, maybe enough. There we go. Good old assist chance. Hey, I just got that back. You're being very rude, and I don't appreciate this kind of attention. I'm gonna have to take care of you. There we go. No, that was a waste. I mashed the button a little bit too much, got excited. Ow. Ow. All right, fewer enemies now. I focused, on, I knew that he was gonna be a threat, but I focused on the more immediate danger, because I felt like getting rid, of, getting rid of that guy was a smart idea. Because now they've only got one attack per turn. I can do this. Confuse and deal damage to an area centered on an enemy. Let's give this a shot. Oh, it's a concentrate. Alright, good to know.
keeping my distance just to avoid getting hit by the concentrate. But I, I made a mistake here. Ah, it's just, it is a charge attack. Grit. Grit uses two ad ad assist uh, gauges. Uh, grit chance will activate just before you die, and by pressing L1, your hit points remain at two. Grit's very effective in battles where you cannot revive downed al allies. Of course, you may be attacked by the, the next enemy and die anyway. Uh, check the battle conditions to use it wisely. There's an assist meter? I didn't realize we had an assist meter. Is that the flashing circles that affect my TP at the end of the turn? This game is mechanically dense. Okay. Learn the lesson the hard way that Saber's a charge attack. I must I must have missed that detail. That's an important thing to know before you initiate an attack, is that it's gonna take multiple turns. Whoops. This game opens the door to, for you to learn from a lot of different mistakes. <laughs> These first few missions might be pretty rough for me. Yep, I noticed. I noticed. Ma'am. And we are not off to a good start. Alright. We've got one base down, that's something. Do they have any of our bases down? Are they even really trying to take down our bases, or are they just wandering around? Where's the enemy player? Those are random units, I think. Can't really see what's in there. Someone's fighting. Oh, no, they took out one of our bases, too. So if I want... So they're probably on their way. That, that, that could be them right now. So I gotta make my way over to here, which seems rather out of my way. I've gotta go through the storm to get there, too. Rough? Alright. Okay, fine. How are we doing on health? Not great. Didn't I just heal us by 30%? I guess that would be about 30%. Yep, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Alright, salve. Hopefully I can find more healing items as we continue, because we're in a bad spot. Definitely could have uh, used a medic on this crew. Inciting bell. Oh, crap. Don't mix up my directions here. I don't want to fight anyone I don't have to. Legionnaires completed the objective. Oh. Did I just lose? This guy's moving at double speed. What is this brand of crazy going on here? There's an enemy armament. Be very careful. Ah. No! Ah, crap. I thought they were gonna hop over me because of their ridiculous movement pattern they were taking. But they did not, and so I, I incited the attack. And there's five of them. And there's an armament attacking us. <laughs> I'm finding so many new ways to fuck up, it's kind of fascinating. So these guys have plants on their team. And, they, and apparently these plants can create barriers. And become barriers themselves. The rogue's needle trap, hate spiders and spider net, and fake flowers thorn be uh, breeding are examples of skills that set, uh, that set objects and cannot be destroyed. Be careful not to trigger them while moving. So just get away from that. Don't touch it, basically. Okay. Going in for the attack, then. We could probably follow up on that with my spellcaster and take her out. Oh! Pain! So much incoming damage. Oh my god. Alright, this party composition may have been a little bit ill-conceived, judging by the success I'm having so far. By which I mean the success I'm not really having so far. Uh, I'd probably want to target the one slightly further away. It's probably the ideal path. If only I could avoid hitting my teammates. I don't trust myself not to hit them. Damn it. I wonder if I should just try to go for their leader back there. But this guy's almost down. And if we could finish him off, we'd be significantly healthier. 
Just a little step forward. I'm trying not to hit my teammate, but I don't know. The game's kind of vague about impact range, so who knows. We'll just have to see. Yep, there's my teammate going down. Crap! Alright, we're good at least. We got an assist. I swear I'm not actively trying to mess all these things up. Is They're just happening. <laughs> Ow. Definitely feel a little restricted to landing three characters. The dragon's tough. But I might benefit from having more characters to use. I'm gonna kill my teammate if I do this. Ah. Uh, who goes next? The both of the plants are gonna go next. Followed by the Oh, the blast range is gonna go off. These guys are bastards. You see what they did here is that they freaking they basically pinned me in here in range of the incoming attacks that are gonna happen. I might as well just go for it, honestly. At least it's some damage to the enemy. Otherwise, they're just... She's likely to be going down anyway. I don't know. Ow! Being thorn whipped over here. Oh no, is my, is my witch doctor still in attack range too? The shaman, I mean? Ah! No one escaped the attack range. They really did just make a wall. That is some nasty tactics. Okay. Brutal. They created a wall and trapped me in the in the in the range. All right. Probably want to go for a fire attack of some kind, right? Come on. Yes, impact. I'm gonna win this fight. Damn it. So I guess those little bubbles must be the assist meter, because it said that I use two if I use grit. I don't see any other meter on the screen anyway. Oh, hello. We're gonna wanna get out of that. What are you doing? They're still trying to make a wall to block me in here. Oh, no. These guys are bastards. They just actively trap you in the attack range. Um, if I press something, can I make the high... What is, what is the exact attack range? Can I look at it? There's no way to look it up, is there? So somewhere, like, right where I'm standing, there's going to be another volley. Um... My health's pretty low, so I'm probably screwed when it happens. Um, the game talked about the enemy being invincible. Do they mean the object that it placed, or do they mean the the bolt, the the little Groot shield it puts itself in? Because I don't know which attack is which. They just sort of said that they put down an invincible attack that I can't break, but they didn't specify if it was the one up there or the one down there because they both happen at the same time. I'm pretty screwed right now. Gonna just have to accept this part, because you can't attack and then move. Might as well take one of them out. Because this attack this attack range is gonna be all over the place. Unfortunately. Yep. Ow. Oh. He's suicided by siege weapon. Wait, was I outside of its range? Was I, was I not in its attack? I wasn't in its attack range. Whoa. I totally thought I was in attack range. Weird. Seriously, just, I really wish they would just show me. Just, just, just show it on the screen consistently. They flash it for one second, but the whole screen is one nonsensical patch of dirt. So like, so like trying to get an exact idea and keep it in mind of the exact location of it when there's no landmarks on the screen to reference it to. That's kind of rough. <laughs> So I just, they, sh they even when they flash it for me, I only have a vague idea of where the attack is. And I'm like, I sure hope I can get away from it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so we have no healing right now. I can reduce my enemy's stats is the best I can do for 10 turns. So maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, I can reduce my enemy's stats by a lot. And then fight them single-handedly with the dragon or something. 
side path gives us away. Oh, right, this, this is a medic. Fantastic. We're gonna need to use your money here. The shape of her hat seems a little different. Oh, my lost little lambs. Hast thou come to receive my aid? There is no need to tell me what thou seek, for I already know. Come now, before thou givest thy prayers, thou must cast aside thy greed. I, I marry Pius, and second oldest of the four medic sisters, will anoint thee. I think she wants us to put money in her donation box. Captain, what do you like to do? I'm going to... Donate 90? She didn't like that, apparently. She's in a bad mood. Thou art comparable to the others. Now behold the miracle of the divine. So if I donated more, she would have been more helpful, I guess. Your prayers have been answered. If thou art in need again, please visit me again. Oh, health's completely restored. So I got what I was hoping. So I wonder, does she always give you the same result no matter how much you give, but she just have a different reaction? Or does she actually buff, like give me a buff, perhaps? There's so many things to learn about! Holy cow! Cause that's just another thing on the long list of things where I'm like, not quite sure, but it'd be, it'll be interesting to learn. First of all, how far away is the enemy base? Can I even reach them? Distance is 16 squares. That can't be accurate, can it? Are you just talking about the linear distance? There's no way I can get there that fast. I'm probably in trouble here. Well, we'll just keep going for it. There's an enemy armament. Be very careful. I mean, I'm, I can't exactly take the long way around, can I? Uh, I may as well grab this real quick. It's something I get to keep, and even if I lose, I think. Hey, bad guys, how you doing? I call them bad guys, and they're just the enemies. So the enemy also has Dragon Mage again. Hey, wait! Why do they have four people? They get to keep more. They get to bring more soldiers than I do. Then, because I only get four slots, and the Dragon Mage takes two. Is my Dragon Mage poisoned? Why are they purple right now? Maybe that's just. This side of the map looks purple or something? So many questions to be had. Okay. Hello, friend. Giant, tiny, weird Moogle monster. Ah, crap. Yep. That was case in point. I, I, tried to, I tried to pause for just a moment between attacks to try to let them descend into my attack range. And my turn just ended on me without, without my permission. Why is, it, why is that so finicky? Weird. Anyway, let's try to ruin one of these little knights, huh? If I do this... I suppose between these two, I should target the one on the bottom. Because there's a chance I can attack the little Moogle monster, too. It's a little too far. There we go. Assist chance! I guess against which of them, really? I guess the the little guy is probably too far away, but he's he also seemed pretty assistable. Oh, we are not having dragon on dragon combat. Wait, you got to move? How'd you do that? How do I do that? It's, that guy got that guy got a chance to move. I keep trying to I constantly try to move at the end of my turn. I don't know. <laughs> Ambiguity of mechanics. Die, enemy dragon. Okay, what's going on here? The bothersome Baku. The unique-looking unit is called a, uh, is a monster called Baku. It is spotted throughout the continent. Baku will not use attack skills, but it has powerful abilities that can influence the surroundings. Baku's abilities can put units who are in battle at a serious disadvantage. If you see a Baku, make sure that you take care of it first. It has... It can increase launch rate. Make, a, make it so people can't use guard. Uh... Reduce recovery rate, increase melee attack damage, and field turn rate increases. Does that just mean you get more turns per turn? Ah, uh, I didn't get away. None of us got away. Holy cow. Okay. Yeah. I kind of made that, that problem for myself, didn't I? If I sneak up behind this guy, I can attack both of them at once, though. So at least I can feel good about that. 
Nope, not quite. Keep going in for the attack. Destroy! Alright, we got him. Action ban. We are having a, hug a tough time today. Alright. It's our first battle with these characters. And first battle that's not a heavy tutorial, so... Don't, f don't feel too bad. But we're gonna have to learn from this as we go on. <laughs> and try to apply what we're learning here. There we go. Sweet bonus. Sweet damage resistance. Okay. Let's work on our own... Let's work on our constitution a little bit. Gonna... Might have to visit a medic again. 22 actions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to reach the goal. Wow, it actually isn't that far away. I kind of thought it was further away than that. Let's review our skills. Treasure warp. Oh, you can only use them once. No, never mind. Sorry. I I saw the fourth empty slot. I'm like, oh, I must have used one. It's gone now. I just... No, it's because I have three characters, silly. Enemy call. Treasure warp. I don't have any treasure to warp to or anything. Could give me a shortcut across that gap, though. I think I'm going to want to visit the medic again. I don't have any items, do I? Not for that purpose, anyway. Alright. Let's visit this medic again. Oh, there's a side path over there. Hey, boss. Haven't we met that medic before? That hat. It seems to be Mary, the pious medic. Oh, my devious little lambs, our devout little lambs. So thou hast come once more to receive my aid. There's no need to tell me what thou seek, for I already know. Come now, before you can give thy prayers, you must get. Uh, thou must cast aside thy greed. Alright, that's, that's that same stuff as usual. Let's try donating more and see what happens. Oh ho ho, such pure intent! Thou art comparable to the others. What? I thought that was better than the others. Now behold the miracles of the divine. Is she gonna buff us, maybe? Please? Oh, and skills completely restored. Okay. So now my shaman can use her heal. That's not that's not negligible at all. Oh, we're fighting. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't turn around. Because I was gonna try to teleport to the treasure chest from there. Alright, more of this. Well, it's gonna be hard to target that character twice at that distance. Why are we poisoned cons- are we Wait, are we all consistently poisoned? Huh. Is this location just poisoned? Uh, yeah, that, that would make sense. Based on where we are. That's not a crazy- that's not a crazy conclusion. Let's ruin this character. Oh, not quite, but we're close. No assist? Ah. Would've been nice, though. So yeah, I think- yeah, everyone's just poisoned here. So it must just be a poison environment. This bog. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I just feel bad when that happens. Should probably just finish off their leader. Although we could do more damage in one turn if we targeted somebody else. But the leader affects how much they're gonna do every turn. I should probably just get them out of the way early on. I'm mashing the up button. Move! Move! That she didn't move. Okay. I don't if I don't know how the dragon got to move at the end of the turn. Maybe was, maybe that was a special skill, I guess. Since characters can have special skills. A ranged character. I hate these guys. Scared of him. There we go. They they caused havoc for my uh spellcaster. Healing cheer. Who are you healing though? You're running out of teammates really quickly here. You just have one swordsman hanging out over here. And they're all alone. So alone. Nope, not quite. Assist? Yeah! That's fantastic. Now we're just down to the, uh... The crappy little guy. The, the, uh, the buff- the buffer. But without- without assistance, he's just on his own. Say goodbye! That's satisfying. Oop, level up for our character that was lagging behind. Good. What do you think of this? A little bit of constitution for the bonus. Let's see, agility is tempting. Honestly, strength is going to help us here. 
let her be able to do more damage. Learned a new skill as her too. We should equip that and also double check to see if anyone else has something to equip that I've forgotten. I think I can reach their base. Troop morale. It looks like your ba that battle lowered your morale. Low morale occurs when a unit's morale is reduced to 20%. This lowers the efficiency of their move in, in, uh, in battle. To recover morale, press the circle button and make the unit stand by, or use a field item. Make sure you treat it as soon as possible, so you don't face any difficulties during battle. Recovering morale via standby only works during quests. Alright, that's not good. We probably lost a lot from our own units being defeated. We're down to 12 actions. Probably want to teleport to the chest next. So our party's healthy right now-ish, right? Yeah. We're, we're better than we have been. We can, we can affect our enemy stats. Increase experience for the next battle. Might want to do both, honestly. Oh, crap. Okay, it did target everyone. For a moment there, I thought it attacked uh, that guy specifically and no one else. Good to be sure of that. Miraculous Seed. We're either doing one of the final battles or we're going to reach the actual enemy base in our next battle, so... Prepping that seems like a good idea. Let's review our skills. You learned something new. Cost down. Decrease the action cost of skills by 30% this turn. Interesting. For... Just for yourself? You, oh, you can use it three times. Okay. That makes sense. So they can get extra they can get extra actions for that one particular turn. Let's see, flurry of blows versus launch. So you can't equip more than one try thrust, but, but thrust, but couldn't I just loop these two back together? I feel like I could just loop between these two instead of th throwing them up in the air and making it hard to hit people. We'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Uh, let's, let's double check to see if anyone else has new skills that I didn't notice. I don't think they sh I don't think they would though. And have I found any equ equipment I can pop on these characters? We have no special items. All right. Let's try using treasure warp. It'll get us treasure and closer to our goal. Significantly reducing the number of actions it'll take to get to our opponent, I believe. By about three or something. Hey, we got a stamp. You can sell those at the store. Oh, he's coming for us. Let's use our skill. Reverse movement. Make him go away. There we go. Interesting, you can actually tell what direction they're... F if you can actually... Because we're, we're mostly stationary in motion moments like this... Uh, looking at what direction their their mask is facing helps to tell what direction they're going to move on the map. Good to know. That's probably a good use of my my my, my unit skills. All right, last ten turns. Good luck, me. I was afraid to stand by because I think each of these little turns during combat use up use up actions too. So I'm worried about not having enough movement. Oh, I might be in some trouble though. Oh, well, that's a good start. One of them's down immediately, and you don't need—you don't even need a range. We attack. This, uh, leave that for the dragon, really. Can I get in the good spot? Yep, near the front. Oh, not quite. Ooh, fantastic! An assist. That's two down out of five before they get actions. Good start. Oh. I got, the fact that that guy got to move is a little rough, because uh, it would have been nice to be able to hit him with a fire breath. Now I almost certainly won't be able to reach anything with my dragon for the first turn. On the bright side, hey, there's no cannon attacking me this turn, which has been the bane of my existence for this, enti this entire quest. And if I, can, if I can succeed at this mission, they'll probably be high enough level to mix and match with my other squad, so I can make my mind about how I want to combine people there. Um, not gonna be able to reach anyone from here, so I guess I'll just end my turn. More attack for next turn. Their leader's gonna be in some trouble. I'm 
fact, let's take care of that now. Oh no! Tragedy! So close, and not and no assist either. Okay. How's your health doing? It's a little low. That's not actually low, but it wouldn't hurt to just replenish it outright. Unless I think I can unless I think I can do more damage with my other attack. Or it might just be it might just be a good idea to take out their leader. Also, why am I going down here? I don't hang on a second. There's no reason for me to go visit my allies and be too close to them. There we go. Let's finish the leader off. Got him. So now they are also going to feel like they're low on morale at this point. Oh, he's positioning himself next to my teammates so that I have to attack them if I want to do fire breath. That's an, that's rough. This is not a this is not a pincer friendly party. And I can't reach my other opponent over there because they're hiding behind they're, they're both hiding behind my teammates. This guy's hiding where I can't get past this teammate. Wait, can I get over here? Oh, I'm on this side. Cool. Oh. Not much need for fire breath at that point. I think I one-shot him. But, uh, being able to attack from that side meant I wasn't going to hit my teammate with fire breath. Huh. My, my attacks got so much more effective when I took out the launcher that's in there by default. I wonder what exact purpose it serves, because it seems to be a detriment to that combo's power. I suppose launching somebody might break their guard? That's the first thing that comes to mind for me. I'm enjoying the game to be clear, but man, we have a density of mechanics to figure out before we're comfortable with this. <laughs> Captain, look! Our allies have raised a white flag! After that long speech, we end up surrendering? Damn it. What a waste of time this turned out to be. How unfortunate. We even managed to take this fort. Either way, there's nothing more we can do. Let's withdraw to the guild. To d and we failed. Yeah, that's rough. I wonder if I could have won, though. I'm trying to think of how f I'm trying to think about how fast the enemy won, and it seemed ra it seemed rather fast. Like they it seemed like they won excessively fast. But at the same time, I did get defeated, which made us lose five turns. So that probably made a get uh, some extra progress there. We'll we'll learn from this. Yeah, 58 turns. That is a huge gap. Oh, we still get gold, just 70 percent. But still, we get gold. Okay. You sold your items for 30. Good. It's a bit more, and yeah. Dragon leveled up at least. You're witnessing true power. So one of us made it up to, to uh, level 4 at least. Uh, hit points is very nice. Yeah, we do so much damage that really it's nice just to be able to reduce the damage you take. Stamina will affect resistance. So let's try to make those points count. Burnstorm. Now that sounds like fun. I <laughs> lost... <laughs> I lost my reputation with both of them. That's great because I, I lost it with the people that I was helping because I failed. Maybe you should hire some better soldiers for the rest of your crew, because they didn't help very much either. <laughs> Alright, level 1 versus level 11. That was a dick move, but hey, we made it. At least, I, at least I can say I took both forts. Are you okay, Captain? That last quest was a close one. Let's bounce back from this and move on to our next course of action. I know this is sudden, but this is your current situation. They keep saying one day accomplished over and over again. I don't know why I, what I'm supposed to get from that screen. Alright, we need one more war for the Valkyr. Yep. Because we haven't d done a war yet. By the way, have you checked out the field skills your members have learned? Apparently obstacles in your path can be cleared using those skills. That's all for the report. Now, Captain, please, issue your orders. Oh, right. The storm. Those skills I can use when I'm walking around on the uh, board, they say stuff like nullifying gorges and whatnot. Uh, one of them might have been good against storms, I should have checked that. A new travel quest has been unlocked. Unlike other quests, travel quests don't have a success or fail condition. Explore the area and collect treasure and resources. Also, there are bounty heads, bosses in every area. Give it a shot. Test your mercs. Interesting. Mercenary squad has reached level 3. 
Uh, travel to Ruins Hole is now available. Search for new bounties and items. Okay. First of all, let's check out what my new skill is. Because I want to know. Other squad. Alright, so at the moment I have two level threes and... Five level fours. The entire other squad made it up properly. They were probably a better balanced squad. It, admittedly, I, got, I probably got ahead of myself here. Uh, I liked all the individual characters in this party. But it might have been a little rough to force myself into dealing with a, uh, a dragon character just because it means having fewer units to use. That said, I did have some rough moments just with the fact that the, uh, the enemy kept sort of barricading me in with those ongoing artillery strikes. A flame vortex spell that deals damage multiple times to an area. That could be fun. No reason not to equip it. Alright, that'll be interesting. So just a review. Evil Saber. What tells me that this is a... It's a, it's an attack that you have to unleash slowly. It just says am ambush an enemy with a spell that, that damages and confuses them. It has range climb. Pursue. Let's see. I don't see anything that, would, that indicates that it takes... That, that, is, that it doesn't happen instantly. I'm curious. Maybe that's what the symbol's supposed to mean. The exclamation point? Is that, is that a trap icon? I could test that by visiting my other character. Uh, which one of you had it? I'll just check all of you. I'll recognize it when we get there. Freeze trap. Okay, so the icon itself is a trap icon. So while that... Like this one... Let's see. I mean, I was, I was blindsided by when I used this one, too, about the exact context of it. I, there was more foreshadowing, because it's called Trap, literally, which helps. But, uh, yeah. It doesn't explain in the skill itself that it's going to take a whole action to use. But now I know. So now I know, to, now I know to watch out for that symbol and use it for that exact context. It might be tough using in that context, because I don't know how you, uh... It'd be tough to set up a trap for units in a, in a map like this. Because it's relatively small, and they can charge at you, and you, they have a lot of freedom of motion. That'll take some experimentation and a whole lot of learning to figure out, perhaps. 